Hello, Al. Look, they're under the weather today. I've got a cold. Have you got anything to help? Well, I've got some snail slime. Oh, and how about some lizard soup? I'm sure they're really great at finding colds. Throughout history, there have been plenty of weird and wonderful remedies to help cure people of illness. But some are better than others. Um, I don't know if that really helped. Well, I've got an orange. Oh, and here's some bark from willow tree. I'll surely help you. Thanks. As science has advanced over the years, some remedies like willow bark have been proven to cure illnesses, so we call them medicines. Others have been ditched completely. And then there are things that don't fit into either category, like vitamins and minerals, where there isn't enough evidence to call them medicines or to say they don't work either. We call them complementary medicines. Complementary medicines are vitamins, minerals, herbs and other supplements which might make you healthier or might help alongside real medicine. And although many people swear by complementary medicines like vitamin C, echinacea or garlic to cure a cold, science hasn't proved 100% that they do work or that they work for everyone. That's why some doctors and scientists are now arguing that we need to be more cautious about using complementary medicines. I'd say if you just go and pick up something off the shelf that um, you're wasting your money mostly. But hang on, don't we often hear things like vitamins are scientifically proven to help? Vitamin C is clinically proven to boost your immune system. Look at these scientific studies. Well, yes, lots of companies say things like that. You can be confident Swiss men's multivites work because they've had them independently tested. One of the only multivitamins in Australia with proven results. But many experts say those studies can be misleading. They're often small studies, uh, small numbers of patients uh, subject to a high error rate. Just as if you toss a coin ten times, uh, you can get a run of eight or nine heads. Um, doesn't mean that that's the truth. So some are arguing there should be bigger, better tests on the complementary products sold in pharmacies to find out if they really work or not. Others say it should be clearer which complementary medicines have evidence backing them up and which don't. And until then, most doctors agree your best option for dealing with something like this cold is just a healthy diet and plenty of rest. 